Good evening, everybody. This is Sally Ellerson, Project Communications for Water Capital Delivery. Uh, we gave everybody a little extra time to log in before we get this started. Welcome to the Park Hill and 8th Avenue Infrastructure Improvements Design Meeting. Uh, if you read the, if you had time to read the slide, everyone with the exception of the presenters will be muted and their video will be disabled during the presentation. If you have questions, uh, please post them in chat. You'll see it down on the bottom right hand side of your screen. Uh, the chat option, um, we will answer those chat questions first following the presentation and then we will unmute our call in users one at a time and take their questions as well. And this meeting is being recorded, and we will be able to put a link to that on the website page within three days after the meeting. And I was looking to see if Council Member Zeta had logged in. Uh, she has not, so I'm going to go ahead and hand this over to Pratima Pujal. She is a senior um, um, engineer, and she is the project manager for this project. Thank you, Sally. Good evening, everybody. Um, to, this is the agenda for today's meeting. We are going to introduce ourselves. I'll provide you the project overview, uh, project area, uh, why we are doing this project, and what to expect from this project. Again, my name is Pratima Podell, and I'm the project manager for this project. Uh, Kimberly Horn and Associates is the engineering firm who is designing this project. Jennifer Tatum, uh, Carl Weldon, and Salvi Warsik are in their design team. I hope I got their last names correct. This is a water and sewer main replacement project, mainly on the Park Hill Drive and 8th Avenue. And I'll provide you more details of those locations in the subsequent slides. After the replacement of the water and sewer mains, uh, we'll restore the streets. This project is in Fort Worth City Council District 9. On this map here, you can see the black lines. Uh, these are the locations where we are going to replace the water and sewer mains. On the Park Hill Drive, from Shirley Avenue to Fraser Avenue, we are going to replace the 24-inch water line. There is also a six inch water line parallel to that 24 inch water line that we are going to replace that as well. And you see, we are skipping these two sections uh, over here, and that is because those, those portion of the water line has already been replaced. And from here, the water line, the 24 inch water line, crosses the Fort Worth Railroad and connects to the 16-inch water line on 8th Avenue. We are going to replace that 16-inch water line as well, and the extent is from Jasmine Street to Canty Street. We are also going to replace uh, some sewer lines. Uh, the first one is over here. There's a small section of sewer line over here that we're going to replace, and that is uh, parallel to Park Hill Drive from Lubbock Avenue to Winton Terrace. There is another section of sewer line over here that we're going to replace, and the extent is from Forest Park to McCarter Avenue. These three lakes you can see here, these are also sewer lines that we are going to replace. The first one is between Forest Park and McCarter Avenue. The second one is between Wayside and Forest Park. And the third one is between Wayside and Fraser Avenue. And the extent of replacement is from Park Hill Drive to Robert Avenue, I'm sorry, Robert Street. Why we are doing this project? Uh, the water and sewer lines listed in these projects are deteriorated. Uh, City of Fort Worth Water Department has prioritized these water and sewer lines replacement based on various available data, which includes water main break history, leak history, CCTV inspection data for the sewer lines, age of the line, line material, and whether, whether they are late services lines or not. You may be thinking, will, will our water uh, will be turned off? Uh, your water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when the service is transferred from existing line to temporary service line. 
And then again, when the service is transferred back from temporary line to the new water line. Similarly, if the sewer service will be disrupted, sewer service will not be disrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line. The sewer cleanout provides crews easy access if there is a backup or blockage. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the easements uh, on this project, easements and crossing. There is a railroad crossing um, between Park Hill Drive and 8th Avenue, which is a Fort Worth Western Railroad property. We are working with the railroad to get this crossing permit. There is a new easement um, on 2001 Park Hill Drive um, on the northeast corner of the property. We'll be working with the apartment complex to acquire this easement. The easement parallel to Park Hill Drive from Forest Park Boulevard to McCart Avenue uh, is on the north side of the properties, and this is an existing easement. The easement between Forest Park Boulevard and McCart Avenue from Park Hill Drive to West Robert Street is in backyard, and this is an existing easement. The easement between Wayside Avenue and Forest Park Boulevard from Park Hill Drive to West Robert Street is in backyard, and this is also an existing easement. The easement between Wayside Avenue and Fraser Avenue from Park Hill Drive to West Robert Street is also is in backyard, and this is also an existing easement. Right now, we are at the final stage of the design of this project. We are planning to advertise for bids in late spring of 2021 and then take it to the council for approval. We will host another community meeting like this, again, when the contractor is selected and the construction, is, construction timeline is finalized. Again, my name is Pratima Paudial, and this is my contact information. You can call the second number um, for uh, emergencies. This is a 24-hour service. You can call the third number for the non-emergency issues from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on the weekdays. With that, my presentation is complete. Now we are going to take the questions. First, we'll take the questions that came up in chat. And after that, you can ask the questions. You can unmute yourself and ask the questions. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Fatima. Uh, so far, we don't have any questions in chat. Does anyone have any questions? Um, Questions about this presentation? Uh, yes. <clears throat> My name is Larry Falcone, and I represent University Place, which is on the southeast corner of University and Park Hill, which includes Cockrell, uh, Green, and White's Avenues. And my concern and something I think we need to address is uh, the closing of the roads. Just exactly how are we going to close the roads uh, during construction and how will the traffic be rerouted uh, when we've had issues in the past uh, when we've had uh, water main breaks in the past the traffic has been rerouted through uh, neighborhoods and the people who usually encounter that that roadblock are not happy and so the roads are, are they they run the stop signs they speed and what ways can we impede uh, the rerouting of traffic through the neighborhoods. We have a traffic control plan uh, put together as a part of this project, and we can provide you more details uh, um, before the, uh, we have this construction uh, meeting. But uh, Jenny, do you want to go through um, go a little bit on our traffic control plan? Yeah, I mean, in general, what we've done for traffic control is to try to keep the road as open as possible and avoid detours. Um, we will have um, a few detours along along the way, and and we have tried to keep that in mind because we know uh, we don't want normal traffic going through the residences if we can avoid it. Um, so we have tried to minimize that. Uh, <clears throat> Kyle, Shelby, do you have any specifics? that you would like to add to that? No, I, I would, I think what you said, Jenny, pretty much covers it. Um, I, I do know that there are a few places where we're rerouting um, traffic, but I was trying to pull up the traffic control plans. Um, 
but like Jenny mentioned, most of the goal and the rerouting of traffic was to keep it out of the individual neighborhoods as that's a disturbance to the homeowners in the area. And we will provide more details about this when we have a public meeting again um, for the construction itself. Sorry about that. I asked that question on mute. Um, Kristen Thomas wants to know when there are detours necessary, are you able to provide additional Fort Worth police traffic enforcement officers to combat what has just been mentioned? Um, we'll, we'll plan um, it as uh, if that would not be necessary. If it is that is absolutely necessary, then we can access that. Uh, and then provide any kind of support necessary. Okay, thank you. Anybody else have any questions? If you weren't um, in on this at the beginning, we are recording this presentation. We should have a video link um, available to post on the website project page uh, within 48 hours. If you are a board member of any of the affected neighborhood associations and alliances, I will send that link to you so that you can share it with your membership. Have we answered everybody's question? Y'all are quiet group. Well, uh, this is uh, Larry Falcone again at University Place. Uh, what are the time frames on when we might get uh, uh, a construction meeting? Uh, where we can further uh, determine where the rerouting of traffic is focused. Uh, we are planning to advertise for bids in late um, spring, so uh, it will take about a few months after the advertisement. So we are we're looking at somewhere um, probably um, early to mid summer for um, construction. Okay. And in line with that, Pratima, Mike Tyson wants to know the latest date you expect to have this project complete. Do we know um, how long the contract is? The construction is about um, about a year. Okay. Yeah, so that would be late spring 2022. Yes. Yeah. And the construction will be uh, performed in phases, uh, so it won't be everything all at once. So, and we have sequencing set up to basically start from the west side and um, go east. And so um, it's scheduled that way to kind of mitigate complete um, disruption to the traffic in, in all of the places. Thank you, Jenny. Sure. Anybody else have a question? This is Brent Davis from the Park Hill Neighborhood Association. And a follow up on your construction timeline. We have a wall that is in front of our neighborhood and we've been working for some time to do some repairs. When Atmos came through and did their work uh, earlier this year, they tore up quite a bit of our wall and the grass and everything so we don't really want to start another project and then y'all come right behind it and and do the same thing and so i understand a year project and and 
getting all your con contractor bids in the spring and that sort of thing. But how can you give us firmer dates on the construction time frame uh, so that we can plan accordingly uh, for projects we have going on? Um, since, as I mentioned, the, we are at the final stage of the design. So this is for the design uh, public meeting. So um, until we uh, bid this project out and select the contractor, we will not have this firm meeting, uh, sorry, firm date. Um, that's why once we select the contractor, we'll have those firm dates and then we'll have this community meeting again. And at that point, I can provide you the specific dates. Okay, thank you. And most of our construction is limited to the right of way and specific, more specifically, um, curb to curb. Uh, so most everything would be within the street or at, at most the sidewalk. So there shouldn't be too much disruption to the wall that you're, or any disruption to the wall that you're referencing. Um, but we can double check that certainly. Well, unfortunately, a great part of our wall is in the city right of way. And so Atma's did a number on it. And so. Okay. I guess just to clarify, is that the wall between from Winton Terrace to east to Winton Terrace West. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, and it, the majority of our alignment, like Jenny mentioned, in that area is within the actual street right of way. So um, aside from connections to services along there, which I, there's only a handful, if any, um, there shouldn't be any impacts to, to that specific wall in that area. Okay, thank you. Okay, Larry, I saw your uh, chat, so I will make sure you're included on my list for the um, the link to the video. Thank you. Thank you. I got the mailer, but I was not sure that you had my email. Okay. Generally, generally we don't unless you're a board member. Okay. Okay. Does anybody else have questions for Fatima or our engineering design consultants? I see we have two call-in users. I can unmute you one by one if you want to ask a question. I'm going to unmute call-in user five. It doesn't show me what your phone number is. So if you have a question, go ahead and ask. Okay, we'll move to call-in user six. You guys are a quiet bunch. Okay, it looks like we answered all the questions. Um, again, there is a project page on the city website and the link to this meeting will be on there. You can share that with your neighbors, your association members, et cetera, and spread the word. And we'll come back to you, like Fatima said, after we have the uh, contractor selected, we'll come back to you for a construction meeting. Fatima, do you have anything else? No, I think this is it. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.